What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Don Good. Welcome back to another edition of the DGR. For those that don't know, you're tuning in for the first time. I like to say welcome. And the DGR stands for the Don Good Report. Shout out to all the folks out there that be viewing my channel and checking me out and supporting me. I appreciate all the love and support that y'all give the boy. Um, hey, continue doing so because you know what? At the end of the day, I do this for y'all as well as I do it for myself. All right, let's jump into the review. You are now looking at the iconic Timberland Super 6-inch boot Gore-Tex. Mm. 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 You see what the packaging is? Good grief. Honestly, Timberland has set the tempo. I think Kiff has done the same thing with one of their packs before as well. I'm almost sure they did. But Timberland has set the tone. Sneaker companies, shoe companies, step your game up. Look at this. The boot came in a wooden box with a book wrapped in plastic, two dust bags, a shield over top of it that contained the book, and then they gave us these wonderful, wonderful <laughs> boots, good gosh, mm -hmm. let me know what y'all think, um, like I said before, I just don't rock sneakers, I rock boots, casual shoes, a little bit of everything, I'm a sneakerhead. Uh, but at heart, I love all shoes, including boots. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's jump into the review. As you can see, you have your classic Timberland logo with the registered trademark emblem right there on the tongue. You have your Gore-Tex plate right there, if you can see that. On the front of both boots, you have that classic butter look. They also included a hang tag, guaranteed waterproof Timberland. As you can see, uh, the Timberland upper is a little different from the norm. This is almost like a, I don't know, like a, a like an egg white type color around the ankle portion. And if you can actually see into the boot itself, see that differs from your normal Timberland 6 inch because these are the 40th anniversary edition. And also, let me see if I can pull that back for you. Can you see that? It's only 1,973 pairs. So my pair is 1,397 out of the 1973 pairs. And the 1973 represents Timberland itself. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. All the boots will be numbered and will be limited. Um, just in case you didn't know, they've actually dropped a hiker and they will be dropping the 40 below and a black and brown colorway as well coming late November. Look at that boot. Timberland registered trademark right there. Look at the sole. Straight gum bottom. Incredible. Of course, the Vibram. Couldn't have anything else. Look at that, y'all. that y'all incredible I'm serious just incredible and incredible all right so tell me what y'all think let me know if y'all would like to see more shoe companies dropping uh, releases like this with premium stuff since we're paying those premium prices or do you still want you know the lean over boxes and beat up boxes that we normally get and it's hard to stack, you know, one on top of the other because after a while, you know, the boxes wear down and wear out. Just let me know. Also, I am doing a giveaway. So if you stayed with me this long, give me one second 
and I'll be right back to show you what I am giving away. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. Like I promised, I added another pair of Tims to the equation just to show you what the differences are. If you can get it out. Okay. I ain't gonna say it. Looks like I'm the color right here in the 40th anniversary okay. edition is a little bit more enriched. But I still love this colorway as well. You can also see, I guess, around the top portion of the leg and ankle. That's black leather. And on this one right here, which is the 40th anniversary edition, you have that egg white slash grayish color around the upper portion of the leg and ankle. Hang tag still there. Both are dope. And here are the two shirts that I'm giving away. So there won't be just one winner. There will be two winners. That's right. I'm doing two winners. Um, the shirts actually say XL. But they fit like a large in between a large and an XL a little bit. So you'll be good either way. If you wear XL, it's going to be all great. If you wear large, it's going to be all great. So uh, don't worry about it. But I'm giving away that army green color and I'm giving away the jet fighter color which is that black gray and white all right all you have to do listen up closely all you have to do is tell me what was the original name of the Timberland company before they changed the name to Timberland and the second thing that you have to tell me is what made Timberland change the company name to Timberland from the original name that it had? So that's two things. So tell me what was the original name of the Timberland company before it became Timberland. And also tell me what made them change their name to Timberland. And these are the two shirts that I will be giving away. Also, like to mention, if anyone out there is interested in me giving away stuff uh, to the, you know, general viewers, uh, please let me know. Um, send me a direct message. And also, you're going to have to send me a direct message with your answers. And I will try to post uh, the questions up as well and what you need to do, too. And if you are selected... I will need the information from you on where to send the shirt to. Once you receive the shirt, you will have to shoot a quick video. Uh, I don't have to be super professional. It could just be a quick video. Basically, you know, just stating that, hey, you, you won the shirt, showing that you got it, um, that my process is legit. And uh, I'm not going to disclose how I'm selecting people. It's going to be extremely fair like I always do. So, you know, hey, I, I don't want to hear, oh, it wasn't done fair. Fair. Everything that I do is fair Because that's the type of person I am Thank you for supporting me And this is my way of giving back Like I always like to do And wow Catch y'all on the next D-G-R